Aaron, it seemed like Rizzo did a little bit of everything tonight. What did you think of his evening? A little bit of everything. Uh, I was good over there first, um, as usual. Obviously, a big homer, big double, with the, and then the stolen base was was huge. Getting the third base there, um, you know, he just does a lot of a lot of good things to help you win ball games. He talked about the stolen base on the field, and he said, "We're going to be aggressive. We're going to be smart about it." Was that an emphasis coming into this series, as far as the stolen bases? It seems like the last two two games have been. Um, uh, no, I wouldn't say necessarily an emphasis this series, um, but an emphasis on you know something that we're, you know, you know when when it's available to us, we want to. You know, I don't think we're going to set the world on fire, but um, when we have our opportunities, you know, those are those are big plays for us and and it's played a big role for us already in this series what do you think of the job Severino did this evening so it was good you know I you know I didn't he wasn't great he, he didn't have his best stuff necessarily um, but I thought he navigated really well he made really big pitches um, and I, I thought he finished great man you know I kind of kind of told him after the fourth I'm like you know hey Going back out, but it's pretty pretty short short leash, and and I thought it was his best inning. Like really clean delivery, you know, finished with the top of the order. Really, I thought throwing the ball really well to to finish strong. But he made big pitches when he needed to tonight, um, and 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 gave us what we needed. It, it seemed like you had a fairly long conversation with him when he came out after that fifth inning. Was there any consideration at all to, no. to letting him go back? No, it was more. I was talking about just some things within that inning that I really liked and was kind of proud of the way he he, he finished really under control. Um, but no, it was, it, you know, I wasn't going to go much over 90 with him tonight. What is it like to be on the other side of what Miguel Cabrera was doing tonight, particularly knowing that he's now one hit away from that incredible yeah. milestone? I'll tell you, his, you know, last at bat when he had the opportunity to get there, um, it's pretty pretty interesting feeling in the in the ballpark like this roar leading up to it but then this kind of silence like on every pitch was kind of it's pretty cool actually Aaron Hicks said something to me coming in he's like I've never seen a crowd like get like that and then kind of go silent for pit. I said yeah it was kind of like almost eerie so um you know glad he didn't get in that spot but but um yeah he's knocking on the door now Part of you that wants to see this moment, especially, particularly, of course. I mean, of course, you want to win right. every game, but to be a part of it because of what it means in history. Um, I, I don't know. You know, I mean, if it's and and I love Maggie, and like I said before, I had the the, the great fortune of getting to play with him, and uh, he meant a lot to me. I have a great re relationship with him too, so I know he's going to do it. So if it's if it's something that he gets and you know doesn't hurt us. Uh, that's fine, I guess, but um, he'll, he'll, he'll get it. <laughs> what have you noticed from Isaiah the last week or so at the plate? <sighs> yeah, a lot of good contact, even all the way up to his last at bat tonight where he smoked the ball for the out to the second baseman. Just just getting more and more settled. Um, you know, I uh, feel like hanging on his backside better and, and getting off some really good swings and really starting to barrel some balls. He said on the field, Isaiah said that that he's starting to have fun and he's relaxing. Can it be that simple that he's relaxed? A little bit? I think there's a lot to be said for that. You know, I talk to you guys all the time about that early in the season, getting settled, and you know, early in the season being with a new team, just getting settled, and and then getting to where you're just out there playing. And he's playing now, and it's good to see.